Alrighty, so previously on Amphibia, we got to see uh, Sprig challenge Hop Hop for farm supremacy and thus winning out, but unfortunately Sprig thought every suggestion should be applied to everything in regards to running the farm, and obviously we all know how that ended up turning out. It ended up being absolute chaos, and they almost lost the farm, and then Hop Hop learned to compromise, thanks to the help of Jeremy the Beetle. And then the other episode... Uh, within the episode was uh, girl time. They had uh, Polly and Anne had some girl time and Anne was very insistent that Polly should not live like Sprig and Hop Hop and do disgusting boy things, but in turn was pretty much just not taking into account what Polly would want and just letting Polly be an individual and being who she wants to be. And then also using money she didn't have for all the services she was, uh, for all the services she was using. She's using Hop Hop's IOUs, which were no good. And they almost got, they, they were, they were arrested. They were arrested by, uh, Sam Elliott, the frog, uh, the constable. I'm calling him Sam Elliott because he looks like Sam Elliott. And they almost got put to work at the coop, gathering eggs from horrible, hairy, giant looking spiders. So that was great. This is episode seven. This is dating season and Anne versus Ooh, Anne versus Wild. That should be a good one. Dating season. I wonder who this is gonna involve. I mean, probably not Anne, because I don't know if Anne is attracted to anyone here. Where's the fun in that? This place is full of nature. <laughs> it's probably gonna be Sprig. Really this involves. In this place. Oh. It's an ambush. Oh, an ambush. <gasps> I'm hit. Sprig down. Sprig down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ivy. Nice ambush. Ivy. Gordon and Wig. Classic. <laughs> Can't take all the credit. You're really easy to trick. <laughs> I love <laughs> Ivy's hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ivy, me Anne, and me Ivy, childhood acquaintance and occasional sparring partner. Oh, <laughs> damn! I like how her hands have not left her pockets there. Nice to officially meet. Do you like being randomly attacked? <laughs> not at all. You won't see me. <laughs> oh my God! The sprig <laughs> like her? Cute, huh? well, well, the sprig well, like her, or is this more of a? Uh, we're home. And kind of adding a narrative to something that morning. doesn't have one. Oh, nothing. Except Brig was totally flirting with a cute girl. Ivy Sundew and I are just friends. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, Sprig does not like this. I don't actually care. <laughs> and Polly is being as precious as always. Tonight. It's the perfect opportunity to begin the ritual. Only frogs who have performed the ceremony. This is another case of garb are allowed to be wed. Have we asked the person in you know like in no, question here? Just friends. Besides, I'm what they think and want. Right? She gave me this nifty ring. Forget her. Maddie. Ooh. Secret proprietary crops. She was something, you huh? Have any idea what that means? Our families merge. We'll be rich. Oh, Hop Hop wow. has a different, so romantic. different, oh, uh, I love these magazines. <laughs> outlook on this. It says here, two thirds of all soulmates start out as just friends. Wait, what really? Oh, no. I already hate Definitely. where this is going. This is annoying me. Yeah. A cat to my bat? Well, we're the cat to my bat. I already asked your family. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This is annoying me a little bit. He was perfectly fine with just being friends with her. And then they put all these ideas into his head. Now he's gonna jeopardize this friendship he's had for years. Boy, you look incredible. Ruined. I don't know about this. Ivy's gonna think I look stupid. I think I look stupid. Why would they Wait, think Ivy would go for this? Open. We don't even know if Ivy sees him this way either. Yeah, both of them are just like, give me a break here. I don't want this. The families are shipping them. How dare they do this? Hi. Uh, these are for you. David, move. Oh, oh, that's her mom. Okay. 
That's big of yours. Looks like a hard worker. Agreed. <laughs> I this hate so this so exciting. much. I wonder what their ship name will be. No, big stop it. IV? What are you even saying? Shh. Let's watch our little love doves fly. Excuse well, we me. We call that right. We're like they're they're uh, shipping them, and it's. Doves here tonight. I've... This is bothering me. Planter says, <laughs> "Sprig." Don't mess this up for us. Wow. You see a sun dude with like Ivy too. Have a great courtship. Wink. It says wink here. Love mom. That's All right then. sweet. It's hey, uh, a nice song though. Didn't you know two thirds of all mates start with? Souls? Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, uh, two thirds of all souls start with. <sighs> Let's be straight this. with each other here. I'm sorry, Ivy. I, I don't want to date you. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I only went along because I didn't want to hurt you. Aw. my mom forced me. What do you say we ditch this thing and go watch some fireflies? Yes, this yes. is so much better. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> the little love doves are sneaking off into the woods. Shut up, Anne. You know what that means. Those two don't finish that dance. Then this court ship will oh be Oh, my ruined. goodness. Along with my financial security. There's Wait, so much wrong here. Do not let them waste this chance. Nine out of ten. This is like back-to-back -back episodes of Anne just kind of forcing her agenda on someone else. Why don't we just leave them alone? And as always, oh, I'm way too invested right now. Polly being the voice of reason and rationality right now. How is the youngest one the one being the smartest one here? Ivy? Eh. Oh no, you don't. She's very good at ambushes. Ooh. Love that. Uh, that's pretty dark. <laughs> the lighting, so perfect. What's that? Doves? Oh, that's sweet. Look at them. Love doves. Don't move or we're dead. <laughs> I thought they were all romantic and mate for life. <laughs> yeah, and they spend that life massacring all living things. Oh shit. Ah! Of course! <laughs> Beautiful. Of course they made the monsters. <laughs> what the? That sounded like... Yeah. Our families! Let's go! Yo, hop to the rescue! Ooh, pretty colors. <laughs> I love it. They go from being all adorable and cute... To just absolutely terrifying. Ew. Oh, busting out that magazine has not been helpful at all. Polly looks pissed. Look at Polly's face. Here we go. Put them in their place. <laughs> you tell him, Polly. Totally innocent for once. No. You started this. Are you kidding? Sprig only went through with this because of you and this dumb magazine. Met a girl, Polly. Oh, she's wow. mad. I feel lighter somehow. <laughs> More free. Oh, she's been a she's been a slave to that magazine. Polly set us straight. Look, kids, we Sprig, I'm so sorry. <laughs> now we gotta deal with the doves. I always tell them. Save the heart. Why is she so perfect? This is why she's probably my favorite character on the show right at the moment. Hell yes, yeah, Sprig. Ouch. Oh no. Oh, that's cute. Oh, jeez. Amazing. Even in defeat, they're majestic. Oh, they're still cuddling. Oh, did you see their feet on, interlocked? Buddy. Let's get you home so I can apologize safely. Hi. Oh, you just fell in love with her, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, man. <laughs> and Springs was like, yeah, it just happened. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm still... Guys, I brought a bathrobe from home and didn't even know it. Oh. I'm still trying to figure oh, out... Yeah. The reason oh, where the Hal and got here uh, still. Wait, without me? Sure are. Because you would think in theory, every time you open it, something hard. happens, right? But Don't nothing has happened since. And being miserable. You know you hate dirt, bugs, rocks. You're soft, Dad. You're like soft. <laughs> really, you should be glad you're not one of us. Super sure. Ah, uh, come on, guys. But no, I'm trying to figure out if this, them well, getting 
transported here has more to do with the chest or more to do with Anne, right? Hey, since you're coming with us, we gotta lather you up with this. And don't confirm or dispute my theory in the comments, please. I'm not asking anyone to do that. A frog can really hear themselves think out here. Did you leave the stove on? The front door unlocked? <laughs> Will you die alone? Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> it's amazing how I am with insects. You know what it is? Like, a lot of insects are pretty hey, gross looking. An idea. Spiders we just don't do it for me. They just, they just make me feel a type of way. Yeah. Like, beetles are fine. I don't care. <laughs> oh, poor Ann. Oh, no! <laughs> Of course, she got the largest one. Oh, I like the flag. Nice touch. How? <laughs> oh, Polly had a little bucket. Oh, jeez. Uh, listen, I knew what I was getting into watching a show called Amphibia. Pretty sure those ticks cause internal damage. Ugh. But are you sure you wouldn't be happier back home? Seriously, I knew what was no I knew to what to expect. Because we'll be just fine with Anne's getting without absolutely you. wrecked without here. You. Without you. No, look, I know it seems like I'm miserable, okay? Uh... What is it? <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I'm not used to such easy camping. Easy. Here we go. We're not being honest. Singing. I guess I'm just used to something a little more extreme ah, this place ain't extreme enough for you hello uh dang right it ain't <laughs> imagine how much easier things would be if we just communicate who would have thought where we learned that lesson earlier still going i can take you folks to a <laughs> real campsite or extreme experience make you happy and uh yeah oh hey, and we go hardcore. Oh, no, no, way, no. Mister, uh... Name's Joe. Soggy Joe. Soggy Joe. <laughs> he likes to laugh, huh? Hey, could you, like, turn down the creep? Nah. <laughs> Just a bit. All right, we're going hardcore. Here we go. Oh, good. Red, that's welcoming. Save yourself. <laughs> I agree, Sprig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His face night, first. <laughs> and in the morning, if we're still alive, uh -oh. I'll take you all out for pancakes. Ooh, oh, that hell yeah! Pancakes. That's not bad. Want to hear a tale? I would like to hear the story. I love scary Thank stories. you, Sprig. The Mud Men. The Mud Men. Does his tongue have a bite taken out of it? Stalk the inky night, lusting to devour. Might have wandered into their domain. Oh boy. Ten bucks says he doesn't. Oh, the one-liners. Love him. The Mud Men only fear two things: daylight and being clean. That makes sense. Holy honey thistle! What? What is it, Joe? What? Right Squeezer back. that hard? I love when Polly just comes up with these one-liners. Oh, uh, Are you okay? Everything okay? Did something happen? Oh! Holy shit! Oh, wow, that got violent. Oh, that's cool. The Mud Man! It's the Mud Man! Oh my god! We're going horror movie right now. I love it. The sickle, ah, fork and knife. They're real. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I love the look of that flame. <laughs> Is that a drumstick? Oh, that was easy. Oh, we got to give a big thumbs up on lighting right now. Bat bomb. Oh no, she's not gonna get to use her bat bomb. Dear friend. I mean, I guess this is a good reason to use it right now. Well, guess we're dead. Oh damn. Oh, there we go. I was like. Wait, what? How? The jig is up, boys! 
exactly before she throws another one. They look lame. They look they look like dorks. <laughs> Be honest. Thank I have you. A confession. God. This extreme camping stuff was nonsense. So you dragged us to this horror show for no reason? <laughs> Twisted. I love it. <laughs> she I would. Understand. Why lie about it? Not a frog. I'm Back not a off. Planter. Heck, I wasn't even invited. No, on you're trip. a planter. I really like you guys and wanted to be with you. I don't know if it's the sweet smell of toxins. Or the overwhelming emotions, but dang it, I'm a mess. <laughs> Next time we'll include you, Anne. Sometimes just asking, right? Even if you know someone's gonna say no. So Joe's okay, good. Yeah, if you know somebody's gonna say no, still ask them. It doesn't hurt to ask. Just that inclusion is goes a long way. Joe, there were these crazy cannibals. They tried to eat us. Oh, yeah, actually, with their frogs covered in mud. Unbelievable. And then we ran. We tried to use torches, and was all a big thing. It was very dramatic. Now keep going. I love his responses. Yeah, I smell it. It's great. Is that peony? Yeah, that is peony. Yeah, I have a nose for these things. So that's pretty much it. You're pretty much all caught up. Oh, great. So y'all want to get pancakes? Uh, I like that they look towards the audience. <laughs> um, I'm I'm kind of with Polly there. I prefer waffles. It's a texture thing. <gasps> Lore. You guys seen anything like? Finally. May I? Oh my God! Something finally acknowledging the story. Never seen anything. Damn it. Well. It was worth a shot. Someone must know. I promise. We're going to find a way to get you home. All right, we're finally having our first steps here. Oh, he knows, doesn't he? It's just as I feel. <gasps> what? Destroyed? Cal what did that say? Calamity? What did that say? <laughs> what did that say? I'm going back with the look. <laughs> Real quick. Calamity box danger. Beware, and it has like a skull, the skull of the frog. And it says destroyed. Oh, wow. Okay, and then there's like these three, the three gems there. Okay, interesting. Um, Finally, we got, um, since the, you know, not since the first episode when we got the, the shot of her friend in the prison. So like at least one of her friends did make it through. As to the third one, I don't know. This thing with, you know, Hop Hop, not being entirely honest here. I'm getting like, again, I hate comparing the shows, but you know, it's, you know, I'm getting like the stand vibes here, you know, plain dumb type of deal here. But wow, okay, so this music box is a. Why is it dangerous? And in, and in what way, right? Is it like the box itself, or is it what the box can bring? You know, like it, like is Anne being here? a threat like but probably not maybe i don't know uh don't tell me i'm not asking you to tell me <laughs> uh oh it just raises so many questions and i got all everything's i don't have enough though i don't have enough that's pretty much what i said that's that's what i'm thinking what this could mean like you know, like we saw her friend in in the in the prison with I don't know who that who the guy was she was talking that was talking to her like like you know are they is he evil or is he just see their them being here as a threat you know what I mean there, there there's so many things this could be and it's ah uh, uh, I'm glad they finally gave me something here and I love theorizing about it I, I, it's hard for me to criticize the show when it's not giving me enough story stuff and as much as i would love all that i just i, I don't know the writing's really good and it's a lot of fun and i, I love the whole horror vibe this episode gave me as, as many of you know who who regular this channel for months now know how much i love horror and i love when shows start to delve into stuff like that gravity falls did a lot of it in season two and it was so incredibly well done and this was really well done as well i loved the lighting i loved how it was actually kind of violent. You know, they stabbed Joe in the back with an axe and they were going to eat them. And just the way they shot it, the way they're coming out of the mud, and, you know, obviously it's very zombie like. And the reveal of them just kind of just being looking like regular frogs. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh, 
But again, you know, and I, I loved how Anne just really loves the planters and just wants to be involved and include it. But again, you know, and this seems to be a big theme of the show so far is communication and the lack of communication is always getting them in trouble. You think at this point they'll learn their damn lesson. But hey, we we need we need more episodes, right? <laughs> and then the previous one, that one was really annoying me. You know, forcing your agenda on someone and you know, not asking people what they want and what they, you know, how they feel about something. Instead, you're like, oh my God, you two be so cute together. You should date. That, that, that never ends well, if, especially if there's no attraction there. And just the kind of, you know, obviously Anne doing her whole like fantasy thing, like, oh my God, this would be amazing if Sprig dated Ivy. And then obviously Hop Pop has financial reasons for that, which is never a good idea. And of course, Polly is the one who is the most rational and understanding one there and put them in their place thankfully but uh of course no that it ends with with sprig actually falling for her so i wonder if that's going to come back into come back into play which i'm sure it will ivy seems like that's a character we're going to see again but i just hate that whole just jumping the gun and trying to force people together it, it never it's it, it rarely ever is successful so that 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 kind of struck a nerve in me it was really kind of pissing me off seeing that but uh but yeah folks that's all i got for you today thanks so much for hanging out with me as always and and like i said before you're gonna hear me theorize a lot you're gonna hear me ask questions but it's questions just to give you guys insight into what is going on in my head not to actually answer me in the comments there's i've been seeing it too much in the comments section people saying like no spoilers no blah, 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 where people going, oh, I'm not sh uh, I don't think this is a spoiler. Nine times out of 10, if you're not sure it's a spoiler, it most likely is a spoiler. Or I'm going to find it as a spoiler. So remember, folks, these are fun, but they're only fun when I don't know what's going to happen. And that's with anything in the show in the future. All right. I know it's exciting. I know a lot of you love this show. And, I, and same with Owl House. I know how much you all love these shows. And you want me to get to certain things. Don't jump the gun, because if I get a, a whiff of something, it, it it ruins the authenticity of this, if that makes sense. So let's just be mindful of that, please. Like, it's, like, like I love reading the comments. I really do. But it's hard to read, read them when I am afraid I'm going to find something out that I shouldn't know yet. You know what I mean? But uh, that's my little rant on that. And you're going to hear me do that once in a while, because sometimes we need to do reminders of that. But uh. Again, as always, thank you for giving me your time. I really do appreciate it. it. Is I love doing these. It's so much fun to do. I really do. So let's keep it that way. And uh, but yeah, have yourselves a great day.